All right, now that we have registered our external service, let's put it to action. We are going to create a flow following the steps described in this trail and then do the challenge together. Okay, so let's create a new flow. So I'm going to go to my setup here and I'm going to change this to flow and create a new flow. All right, let's make a new flow. As this will be a challenge, this will be a screen flow. I'm going to hit create. Now, I'm going to show you if you drag action here. That's what we are going to do. You can change the filter here by type and apex action. Here you can see the available action. See, pretty cool, right? The bank service, external service that we have added and our own Zone IO test data generator. Okay, so let's see on the steps here. So we are going to create a new flow and we have shown you what this new apex action is for and we can do get account add account delete account update account on the fake bank right so we are passing parameters onto the external service which is a fake bank and tell that fake bank to get an account information add a new account delete account or update an account so now we are going to follow the steps. First, we are going to create a new field on the user and name the field account type. Next, we are going to actually add a new user named Maria Jones. All right, let's go ahead and do just that. So go back here. I'm going to just keep this here for now. I'm going to go back to my other tab and go to object manager, user, And then fields and relationships, we are going to make a new one, which is account type. And the type is text. It's a free input text, okay? Name this account type, 25 characters, and done. Make everybody visible, can see this new field, and just go... I'm going to include this onto the page layout. So I'm going to save that. Make sure we did that correctly. Um, account type, 25 characters long. That's it. And now we are going to create a new user, Maria Jones, standard user. License is Salesforce. All right. Let's go ahead back to our user here. Home. Users. We are going to create a new one, but I think we already created another one, Allison Page here, from our previous trail um, example. I'm gonna close that. I'm just gonna edit this, okay? I'm going to edit this to Jones, Mary. Okay? So the challenge can check that, all right? and make it a flow user as well probably and I'm just gonna save that so you can create a new user if you haven't used your second user license on your trailhead but as I have used it I'm just gonna change this to uh, the name that is required here so Maria Jones standard user and that's pretty much it okay next we are going to actually create the flow all right so flow and we are going to label it account information on the screen i'm going to type this in so let's go ahead and build it i'm going to cancel this out so first we want to bring a screen in and ask information all right so account information and bring to text field over onto the right side here bam and name the first one 
name on account and then account type okay label is name on account we want to be exact so I'm just gonna copy paste here label boom right and then another one here the second one is account type I'm just gonna copy it over again copy this over copy that bring it over here the label is account type okay so we are asking for two input from the flow the name of the account and the account type okay so account type and done save and set the flows properties flow label employee bank record i'm just going to copy this as well we will receive a warning because nothing is attached to the flow yet so i'm going to hit done we can connect this for sure so it can start there and i'm going to save this up and save and label it according to the instruction and save it oh no warnings that's good all right so far we simply added the screen and now we are going to the uh, to add the add account service right so let's do that and it's going to be add employee record the name okay back to the flow apex action boom change this to type and then apex action we are going to add account boom all right this is the name add employee record okay so the account name yes we want to include the account type yes we want to include the value what do you want to pass into the value the the variable we just created all right account name or name on account account type here so this this is from the screen remember from this screen so we are passing it to here to this to this variables now output variables do we want to store that let's see uh, input variable we have done that select store output values so for account details blah 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 click new resource and then i am going to make it a record and this is the name a record and then user okay let's do that back here account detail what was it again account details type 201 account details type 201 account details type 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 there account details 201 okay don't get overwhelmed with this and new resource resource type is a variable this is the name data type is a record the object is a user user and allow available for output right record user available for output and then done done okay what's next for account type uh, for account details enter account and then click okay let's do that first account details okay so actually after creating this variable you actually are going to use it choose that and account type C so that's what you're supposed to do but it is saying on here it is saying to actually assign that onto account details type 201 I cannot find this on my existing output um, to store so I don't I don't see it anywhere and I think you won't see it on your end as well but don't be worried so for now I'm going to just store it on this particular variable and hit done and just save it okay so now this is connected and that's the the whole thing now we are going to do the challenge together all right so you can run this afterwards you can do the challenge so basically we want to also update the user the user and 
match it on the count type that was entered okay so basically we are going to update a record all right update a record so we are going to do a simple update record on here update record what update do we want to do a user update right update user update user with account type which is purchasing right use specified ids conditions to identify the records which is user user the last name equals the account name that that was entered on the screen all right jones so do that and then the fields set the field values the account type account type equals the type that was entered from the screen right so account type update that user and this is the criteria last name equals jones was entered onto the screen all right so hit that done and put this here and actually save this guy and now if i go to my user here my user and go to jones mary jones if i hit here account type should be blank right now right where is account type uh, account type there it's blank so this flow should update this to purchasing okay let's give it a try so i'm gonna run this name on account jones account type purchasing purchasing and i'm going to run it next boom so that's that's just creating an account on the bank on the fake bank service also updating the user record if i refresh here mary jones should have purchasing account type there so with that we are confident to check the challenge and that's the final of external services which is pretty cool and i'll see you on the next module on the trailhead bada bing and bada boom there we go Woo new badge hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom